Uh, five look swap. Six mil. That's the one. I just put this on the other day. All right, let me break the caliper off. Uh, ooh, my stomach hurts. Stomach hurts. <laughs> Bread sucks, bro. Bread fucking sucks. Little Caesar's pain. Close your mouth. <laughs> that's what happened. I'm gonna unfriend you on Facebook. <laughs> well, that's not even the right size, but I think I can uh, just take the bracket. I gotta take the brake oh. off though. These are bad. And these are bad. These are missing one. Should be. Look at that. <sighs> My stomach hurts. I ate too much. What the hell are Honda bolts doing on the 240? That's fantastic. Yo. Huh? Steel wool? What do you need steel wool for? Like, there's a lot of rust in the cellar. Rust? Yeah. On what? On the lobes? Yeah. Or the can? Or the crank? Uh, I don't have any steel wool, but there's like sandpaper on the table. You want to give them a little? The stock brake ones? Is it a banjo bolt or what? Huh? Is it a banjo bolt? <laughs> oh yeah, he has the same car. Yeah. Hey buddy, hey come here. <laughs> I'll do it for you, but I'm gonna put it back. Oh. It's like plastic, purple plastic dip all in the bottom of this car. I don't know why. I guess they thought it was undercoating. You made it back, buddy. All right. Calipers off. I'm talking to my people. Jerk. All right, and I just took the caliper and the bracket off together. I don't care. Oh, that was, uh, it's got a little bit of lip. I like my, I like my disc with a little less lip, you know? All right, so I decided not to fight with it. I just undid the three arms and the strut. And I'm just going to impact these off. So, uh, yeah, I'll feel pretty good about that. And then I just throw it back together and that's on. And I also wanted to see, that, that's got a lot of play, so... Definitely need to do the ball joint, the rear ball joints here pretty soon. So, yeah, so I'm gonna impact these and throw on the new hub and throw it all back together. All right, I got it knocked off, um, pop the bolts off, a couple love taps with the hammer, and uh, she come right off. And uh, the old one's still in pretty good shape, so uh, I just stab the other guy on and throw all this back together and. We are one quarter five look swapped. Very nice. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's make sure that we're all legit here. Yep, that's it. No, get some bolts to start. Car's pulling off, I might get the down pipe one. Oh yeah? Cool. Cool. You think I can get a plant? Uh, I'm not sure, man. Gail said like an exhaust plant. Maybe. Maybe then. Alright, bust this down. What? Why'd you say something? I didn't say shit.
<laughs> so, now that we know it fits, let me take it off so I can put the dust shield back on. Hey, you got primer? You got what? You got spray can primer? Probably, yeah. Uh, um, cover those holes. I mean, cover that rust. On what? On your roof. Where you work. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's on my list, bro. Thanks for bringing it up again, though. Uh, hopefully by summer it'll get painted. Hey, well... Uh, Who's doing the body work? Uh, the fuck happened here? I have no fucking idea. Put putty in there. Put putty in there? Yeah. It's like some kind of rubber. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they were doing. It's like a glory hole. Alright. Alright, we got it on for real this time. Alright, just gotta run all the bolts back through and um, pull this bracket off so I can change the pads. New rotor, and we're solid. All right, so, here we are. And uh, we are about to pull this uh, four lug hub, rotor, brake pads, and swap in my five lug. This guy right here, this rotor, these brake pads, off on pretty, uh, Pretty simple. Um, guess I'll uh, don't lose that. She's trying to roll away. Start by pulling this uh, cotter pin out. And these, this I just put this in when we, me and my son, the I don't know about the third or fourth day that we got the car, the rear diff was leaking real bad, and I got I got a video on that. And, uh, I'm not sure if you all would have seen it yet, or I'm not sure how these videos are gonna come out what order they'll be in but we uh, pulled out the LS the V uh, the LSD that it had and we swapped in the VLSD that I had lying around so cotter pin was new but it's junk now I don't reuse them because it's too much of a pain in the ass to try to straighten that out and get it to go back through when you know Harbor Freight sells them for like three bucks for uh, about all the a lifetime supply and uh, for this big nuts at 36 mil that on there yeah. let me grab my air gun and that's off and there's a uh, washer in here but it'll come out in a minute and I already got everything loose pretty much uh, calipers ready to come off I already took the bolts out for the caliper. There's the caliper. And while I'm here, I'll go ahead and run that baby back. Got this little caliper tool that my buddy Miguel loaned me because I actually don't have one. Basically, you just wind this thing down you, like a screw. I need both hands. And then I remembered I have a head mount. So basically, pull this guy still, this guy to fit, there you go, and you just tighten it down. You get the idea. Just run that down till the uh, new pads will fit. Because these are the old pads, which don't look that old, but definitely uh, some funny business going on. Get to unscrew this guy. That guy, yeah, yeah. This caliper might, this caliper might be pooch. Let's put that aside for right now. Let's see what that looked like. Oh hell. Oh, actually, it's not the caliper. 
the last set of pads ate up into the material because this is load the low side. Yeah, well, it's a good thing I'm swapping it out with new shit. Now, the reason I'm undoing all this is because uh, the axle of the CV shaft kind of blocks uh, part of the bolt, so it's really hard to, I mean, you could probably get a wrench in there and just fight with it. I'd rather just take off four bolts and then let the thing come down so I can hit it with the impact and be done with it in, you know, five minutes, so. Everybody has their own way. I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me, you're doing it wrong. You're making it more work than it should be. Really, it's not that hard to take these bolts off. Push the axle out. Straight out the way. Axle. Come on, Axel, fuck off. There we go. Now, did my washer fall out? I heard something fall. Oh, no, it's still there. <clears throat> There's the washer. There's the axle. Just put that aside. There. And, uh, yeah, that ball joint needs to be replaced, so. It's on my list. That's not the right size. That's like uh, 19. 19? Yeah. Oh, and all these arms, these are all 19s. And uh, the strut, uh, the bottom nut on the strut was 18. Bust these four guys off. Couple love taps. All right, couple more love taps. There it is. One four lug bearing. One dust shield. <sighs> all right. Just kind of knock all the crud off of here. And the dust shield. And that is going to go like that. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. I've just been breaking all kinds of winds today. <sighs> that pizza and I'm feeling kind of heartburning. Now we start the reassembly. There it is. One five lug hub. Now I just gotta stab it all back together. We'll start with the uh, axle. There's that guy. Throw the washer on. And then the big nut. The big axle nut. Uh, where'd I put it? Come on, you big son bitch. <sighs> All right. Now start throwing this thing back together and I generally do it the way I took it apart but in the reverse order and start this guy that started and now bring it over get these to start not for here 
This is back on. This is tight. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Shock is tight. Uh, we're ready to throw the rotar on. Lovely, lovely. And now, let's see if I can uh, I doubt it. These things are such a such a pain in the ass. Nothing came with new hardware. Nothing. Oh, try to squeeze these stupid brake pads in. Okay, I can finally get the pads on. I got that twisted down. It was uh, much more difficult than the other side. And now, just gotta line this caliper back up. And we are in the home stretch for the rear part. And sadly, if you saw the uh, one of the other videos I've recently posted, or may have not been recent, but um, the uh, Z32 calipers stuff that I have did not have hardware, so I ordered it. It should be here in a week or so. I uh, couldn't find it anywhere locally. Pretty bummed about it, but what can I do? Uh, I lost a boat. There it is. So, um, well, I did two things. One, I ordered the hardware by itself, and that should be here in like a week or two. And I also ordered an actual remanufactured set of, uh, of Z32 calipers. And those are going to come with hardware also. So, by the end of uh, this, or end of whatever, I'll have two sets of uh, Z32 calipers. Don't know what I'm going to do, if I'm going to put the other ones on the S14 or not. Uh, might just, uh, might just sell them, I don't know. I got them, I got a pretty good deal. Got a hook up on them. We shall say. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much concluding the uh, the rear five lug section. I'm probably gonna probably yeah, I'm probably not gonna upload this until I get everything I need for the front, so I can just put them all together. Sweet. All right, that's done. Let me go. Uh, let me go get the wheel. And as you know, we can't run the four lug wheel. So, thanks to uh, my buddy Shanket, who does not own a Nissan, he happened to have himself a set of R32 wheels. He's going to graciously let me borrow these because my S14's at home. Doesn't look too bad. Of course, it doesn't look too bad. It looks badass. Well, these tires are kind of wore out, but I don't need uh, I'm not going to really drive on them. Just enough so I can get home and swap the clutch wheels. <clears throat> these are hella light, too. All right. Green lugs look pretty good on these uh, gunmetal wheels, or dark gray, whatever you want to call them. Why didn't you guys say something to me? Damn it! Got this thing all the way on. It's getting ready to tighten it up. I look over here. Oh, this guy. Right on. Ugh. All right, let's do that again. Uh. 
Okay, boys and girls, so the S13 is going to get some much leaded five lug for the front. You see, we already got the back dead just a couple days ago, but I uh, was missing uh, missing some parts, so I couldn't do the uh, the caliper swap. So this is what I needed. I actually went and bought new calipers, well, remand calipers. And uh, quite honestly though, I like the way these look a lot better than the Remans. And I'll show you, like these are original Nissan Sumitomo uh, calipers. And these Remans, they look very plain. This one says Nissan. So I'm like, oh, that's not too, too bad. You know, it says Nissan, you know? But like you said, like it has like this, it looks really cool. Just don't have it. So this, I guess it's just either a later model or newer model or older model. But this one doesn't say Nissan at all. I'm like, what the hell? So may not use those unless I have to, I guess. If I have to, then I have to. But I'm definitely keeping these. I'm not going to core those out like I originally said I would. I'm going to uh, rebuild those again if I have to, but these I'm not going to use. Uh, probably sell them because I did get a really good deal on them. So go sell them if they don't fit. I mean, if, if I don't need them, hopefully I don't need them. Thank you. Okay, so yeah. These are going to go on first. We're going to pull off all the old crap. Hopefully these don't leak and they work. Be more better. And then, I think we'll be almost done. Well, not done, but almost not undone, I guess. Let's get to work. Ooh, there's frame damage. Oh, she's got some... Oh, look at that. See, that's a rear stud in the front hub. I just talked about that. Don't forget yours and pull this deal. This is what I was talking about. Nope, shit, I lost it. So yeah, I'm gonna fire this guy off. Um, this looks bent. Right here, I think it is. We got a little bit of brain damage right there. That's, yeah, that doesn't look like that's supposed to be bent like that. Check the other side. Yep. Other side is not bent. Yeah. This side looks a lot prettier. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I need to throw some primer on that. Or rust. There too. But yeah. All right, I'm gonna start busting this off. Mm-mm-mm-mm. There you are. Ah. I'm already missing the part for here, but I have a few of those clips, so it's no big deal. I already got the uh, caliber loose, and the uh, bolts that hold the bracket on are going to go right here and reuse those on the new calipers. Also, you want to make sure that the bleeder is going to be at the top, like that. Now it's going to be awesome. So this is loose. Got to just disconnect the line so that, um, you know, we can take this apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this all together like that and try to get it out of there. There. And just set it aside for right now till I'm ready because I don't want the thing just to sit there and bleed out all the fluid. So just put that aside. 
and I'll swap that after I get all of this done and then this comes off this rotor looks pretty decent so probably probably save that this can go on the other s13 or or what yeah see this is what I was talking about this is this is a rear stud that somebody put in the front because the front's got a bigger hub bigger hole it takes a bigger stud but not a problem now because this whole thing's going away. Just got to pop this cap off, break out the bolt there, the nut there, and uh, swap the hub. It's that simple, guys. And I think I have to trim this, so I can't remember. I'll, I'll try. I'll see. There you go. We'll just have an eyeball. Um, I don't know. I don't know which bigger is it compared to that one. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I think it's just gonna just barely be too big. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll trim that guy. No biggie. It'd be good. It's better than what you left in the bathroom. Okay. Uh, I'm alright. Uh, like there we go. Washing. Took a second. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, this hub looks new. This spindle looks new. Holy shit. Decent. What is that? Oh. Oh yeah. But you over tightened it. See, it was having like a gap right here. Yeah. Is that Motul? Yeah. 75, Good dog, man. Mm -hmm. That's the cool thing about the drain plug for the trans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a 3 8. Mm -hmm. So was my 240, bro. I'm sorry. Actually, I think it's a half inch. Um, half inch. Mmm. That is smaller than what I thought it would be. Let's see how tight it is. Yep, way tight. This was for the rear. Totally not gonna work. Try 30. It's a 30. Sounds like 240. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. It's very power steering. Uh, it's on the jack, so it's uh, leaking. What is? It's draining. Oh, your thing? Ooh. I don't believe it. That came off way good. That came off really easy. Way good. That's These must be fairly new. But even at that, if they're fairly new, they're supposed to be pressed properly. No, no, they're not. These aren't pressed. Oh. They have a, the bearing is built into the hub. Oh. Like these just slip on and then bolt up. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. We're almost, we're like halfway there on this one. Special delivery. What you got for me, Holmes? Ooh. You know, there is clearly nothing in there. 
Dude, that is way light. That is way light. I haven't opened them yet. That was all shit. Made in USA. Maybe I should open it. That is fucking light, dude. I'm gonna be shocked if it's just like a box of rabbit shit. Like Arizona Jackrabbit. Oh my god. Dude, that is like nothing. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, and we get some stickerage. Hell yeah. What was that? Probably. Oh, they just put the rectangle sticker? Probably, uh. Instructions on how this can kill you. Oh wow, dude, look at that. Look at that. I don't know any other company that tells you, that gives you not only instructions on how it goes, but the fucking torque specs uh -oh. for every bolt. Nice. That is freaking awesome, dude. Hell yeah. Wow, even a guide to the rod adjustment. Some premium shit right there, dude. Just the front for now, dude. They, I mean, premium comes at a cost. <laughs> like, like, dude, these aren't free. Unless you're about to go get yourself a job. This is going to be a once, a, a once in a great while event. Oh, I don't think this should go in the car. I think this should go in my toolbox. It's going to be a waste if I put it on the car because we're going to paint it this summer. Get you another one. Well, I'm probably gonna be getting more parts later. Oh, okay. That was probably gonna go on my toolbox. Cool. Cool. I appreciate it, buddy. Let's get this five lug on and stab those on. Yeah, those do. Those are way blown out. Like they're just like rubber chunks. What? On the uh, the arms, the old ones. Oh, see them down there. Yeah. So, Did you see what the that problem rip? was in the back? When I ain't looked at it. It it's just the all those all those bushings, the the old bushings. Oh, and also it could be the sway bar too, because there's no there's no bushings on the sway bar. Oh, I so. got my teeth cleaned. Earlier. Give it a little bit of the lubes. That's why the other bearing wasn't seized on here. Just had a little bit of the lube. Did you already do the other side, or? Mm-mm. You just prepared them? I think I have to trim this shield. Oh. Uh. Trim it or remove it? Uh, I'm going to trim it. I don't want to remove it. Let me see the one of the hubs. Joker put these on in his last video. I gotta take them off. <laughs> Copy much. What? Copy much. Oh god, like you're the first person to ever do that. Yeah. In this shop, yeah. No, actually no. At this point, right? Actually no. Yes. Actually not at all. Like you're like the maybe the nine hundredth person in this shop to do that. Me being like no, the last at this point. 843 times. I'm gonna beat you and you study for me. Not if I kick you in your knee. <laughs> Try me. Set your knee on fire. Sure. I'm done. Stop looking, I'm done. Did you uh, have a good time last night? Yeah. Done. Finish. Congratulations, you won nothing. You. you get to go to bed early tonight. No. That's your gift. I give you 10 hours of sleep. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. I didn't win my $150, though. It was kinda, I already spent it, man. <laughs> now my kid doesn't get to eat tonight. Thanks. Uh, I was going to feed him window Sorry, tent. Your money they get. Oh, that's freaking perfect. Fits like a biscuit. No, yeah, I'm going to have to for the brakes. Oh. You need to change your arms up? 
eat. Uh, I guess I could do them later. Matt's hungry. He's not going to stop whining. Yep. Just won't. Yep. I feel like I haven't eaten in days. In days. It's been several minutes since my last meal. This is at least like six hours. I ate like at two ish. Uh, it wasn't that good. So. I was gonna eat earlier. Whenever I told you. Yeah. On the way here, but then I forgot that uh, I had to wait for the. I had to. Wait for that. Yeah. I didn't want the same thing to happen with uh, like my wheels. Remember. Same thing happened with your wheels. Or whatever I got last time, and they fucking took them. Oh, the coilovers, and then they. Uh, FedEx kept him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right on. My niece is an idiot. <laughs> all the chicks at the uh, at Del Mar. Uh huh. I think they all in the eyes just looking like a. You were just perving out on them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know what happened. God damn it. Stupid washer. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, I need cutter pins, Matthew. Where's my cutter pins at? Okay, hold on. Let me see. These big boys. These big boys. Extended studs, you're killing me. Yeah. Too big. Gonna have to trim all this side off. Oh yeah, that cuts. No, I'm cutting it. Now, let's see if they'll fit. If not, then I will have to remove them. <sighs> there we go, no rub. Might have to cut some more, yeah. I gotta cut some more. brake pads in so I've never actually assembled C32 calipers before so I just greased everything I thought should be greased squeezed all the pistons in and uh, I looked at all these and they all look the same they all have the same shit so I'm just basically gonna try to stab them together and see if I can just figure it out I don't see why not 
All right, pins line up, pins line up. Hell, it looks like you could change these brakes without taking the caliper off. That'd be cool as beans, bro. There's these pins. I don't think they go. And these were the pins I was waiting on. Like that. Looks, looks right. And that goes like that. that and then there's this wire thing and there's a hole there so I'm going to assume they all coincide with each other Does that look right? Look right to you guys? That? I mean, I think so. It seems right to me. Hey, where's y'all soap? Um, right there is... All I got is the armor all. That's cool. Somebody robbed me, bro. Actually, that, I think that's right. I think I did that right. Let's put a little grease there and there. All right. Let's see if I can get this guy on there. This is a monumental moment, guys. So first time I've ever done a Z32 brake caliper swap. <clears throat> there we go. All right, that's down. Solid. It rubs, bro. It rubs. Got it. Yeah, you did it. Thank you, sir. Let's see if a big one will fit. Yep, big one fits. I'm going to trim it, though. He's just sitting there waiting for it to be done. Damn privileged teens. Cool. Cool. When I throw something at you. There. Now we just got to run the line and we're good to go. All right. So realized I had the wrong rotor because they're supposed to go, they're like directional. So I had to switch that. And now I just have to pop off this brake line. And that's not the right one. There it is. This one's pretty loose. Well, pretty easy to pop loose at least. Get this guy off. Hey, did you see that kid this morning in the Z, the black Z? Yeah, he revved up. Revving up to us? Like, what yeah. the hell? I thought you were supposed to be friends. Oh, that's his like, how you doing? Oh. Well, he didn't look at us though. He just like revved up and drove off. He knew we weren't fast enough? Maybe. Because he's kind of fast. Come on. There it is. Need that guy. Now, this guy. There's that guy. There. That's all off. Now I need to get the right brake line. Take one guy on here and try to stop this from bleeding out. Getting there. Getting there. Getting there. Oh shit, it's getting there. There, we're not leaking anymore, so that's good. Alright, that's all snug. I just got to stab this guy back on. This greasy son of a bee. This has got to go on. And then I got to get another one for that. And 
thank goodness. I hoard S chassis stuff. Because I have RAM. Look at that. Everybody that says, oh, you keep all this S chassis junk lying around. See? My shit can go back together the way it's supposed to. As the good Lord intended it to. One side done. We still gotta bleed it though. But moving on to the other side. Well, you've seen this, so we'll come back when I'm ready to bleed. All right. Close it loosely so it doesn't make a big mess. All right, go ahead and pump it up. Ooh, they're moving. Yeah, it's taking it. Keep pumping. Let's see when I see some spillage. Oh, damn it. It's leaking. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. This one's leaking. Damn it. Pump it again? Yep, it's leaking. All right, that's good. All right, I'm gonna have to change this caliper. The other one's not, though. Oh, wait, pump it again? Yep, that one's leaking too. No, my rebuild sucked. Yep, the rebuild was a fail. <sighs> All right, you can hop out. I gotta change the calipers. All right, children's. The uh, leaky calipers are no go. So, on a pinch, I threw the new ones on, and they don't seem to be leaking. All right. Pump it up like five times and hold it. There we go. All right, moving over. Pump it up and hold it. All right, guys, so it's the next day and um, I just got here. Five lug uh, was a complete success on this side. I ended up using the Reman calipers. So this side's done. Everything fits up nicely. Everything bled nicely. Felt good. This side, however, um, we've got a problem. I will try to show you. <sighs> I don't know if it's the caliper or the, or maybe my knuckle, but basically, um, and it's gonna be really hard to show you guys. But I don't know if you can see the brake pad versus the. Uh, where it sits along the the actual rotor actually let me take this off make that easier to see well there we go you see uh try to put it like so you can see but basically the rotor is isn't uh because the, the brake pad is supposed to be the rotor, the rotor's supposed to stick out further than the brake pads. But as you can see here, they're not. And also, um, what's happening is the caliper, it's really hard to tell, but the caliper looks like it's crooked. And uh, like especially back here, it looks like it's bending outward. And like I said, I'm not sure if it's the caliper that's doing that or if it's the knuckle but uh yeah like this rotor i can't put it flush it won't go because the caliper is not letting it other side i didn't have that problem at all other side worked perfectly bolted it up so and this one this one has nissan on it the other one doesn't so i'm wondering if this is a reman and the other one is a complete new casting and because my theory is what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this caliper off I'm going to bolt the other Z32 caliper, the one that leaked. I'm going to bolt that up and see if I have the same issue. If I don't, then I know it's the caliper and not my knuckle. Um, my theory is, if it is the caliper, that possibly this caliper was on a car that was in a wreck and it got damaged. And uh, it got bent. And when they bought a new caliper... They turned in this core, and the core seemed all right, so they threw it, you know, they rebuilt it and threw it back out there. But, I don't know, I mean, I don't see any damage on the actual caliper, so it's kind of hard to tell 
if that's the case, or maybe it's my knuckle because there is frame damage over here. This car has been in a wreck. So, I mean, it could be this knuckle, but remember the spindle was like brand new on this. I mean, I don't know if the, if that could be the, just cause the knuckle, you know, they, they just replaced the spindle part. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really look at it. But so yeah, I'm going to pull this guy off and I'm going to put on the uh, other caliper, the old, uh, the, the rebuilt that I, I screwed up on and see where that sits. All right, guys. So there you have it. This is my old caliper. Well, my new old caliper that didn't work. Bolted up. I'm holding the rotor flush. It's going flush. And uh, you can see that the rotor sits where it's supposed to. The, the brake pads sit where they are supposed to. So that's that. I guess that's uh, evidence enough for me that there's nothing wrong with my knuckle and that it is that caliper, that caliper over there that is uh, bent. So I get to return it and wait a couple more days for them to order a new one because this this one came out of Houston and uh, it took two days to get here. So yay! Well, the, it sucks. The car's stuck until then. I wish these would have worked. I I think I'm gonna have another chance. I'm gonna do another. Uh, I'm gonna take another shot at rebuilding them. But the pro I think what I where I screwed up was um, I reused the old pistons which I'm not going to do next time. Um, and I didn't take the caliper apart. So I don't think I was able to get into the uh, caliper enough to clean out all the little crap that was in there. I think that's where my, I think that's where my problem was. I was sealing up against areas that weren't totally clean. So I think the next set I do, uh, the next time I do these, cause I'm going to keep these. Like I like these. I like the way they look. They look way cooler than the, the, the remands that I got. So I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna take them completely apart because I know there's a seal in here that I have to find. So I'll, I'll find all the stuff I need first. Take it apart, really, really clean them out, get all the crap out of them, put new pistons, new seals, everything, and I'm almost guaranteed, like confident that they're gonna work if I did it that way. Yeah. So that's a shame. I really like that. I like the way that looks, but yeah. But I mean, uh. At least I know that it's not my uh, not my knuckle. It is that caliper. Uh, just gotta take some photos so I can show the guy. They know I'm not bullshitting. And uh, yeah, see you in a couple days when uh, I get the damn caliper. Later. Ugh. Oh, last one. It's the kitchen with a shitter. What is happening? Oh my lord! Oh wow, that's oh, cool. That fits good. What do you mean fits good? That's a good fit. Look at that. God damn, oh, man. Put a board. Put a board. Uh, be careful with those lugs because they might not work. These? Yeah. Oh. It might be too, might be too big. <laughs> oh yeah, those are. <laughs> oh no, they work. And and look at my much larger, angrier penis than this guy's. <laughs> Not so angry, dead penis. <laughs> it's a limp penis when you're dead. You yeah. Oh, that's, that's stiff, of, dude. That's a lot of travel. Though. Is it though? Yeah. Look, let me let me sit back there. Are you gonna sit on it? I don't know. Hope you have to sit back there. Hey. Holy shit! It's not bad, dude. It's stiff and no, you. Oh yeah, it's Let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah. But you, you get a thinner tire. Oh you fuck, dude! You have yeah. a lot to roll. Yep. That's a lot. That's a lot to roll. That's a lot of stick. It looks cool though. It does. Dude. Like these wheels are perfect, I think. Fuck. Yeah, I don't think you need to do anything to the front. Dude, Probably need on. to lower yeah, the front. Stop real quick and take a moment and just appreciate what is in the shop right now. The don't S13. Look here, <laughs> don't look back here. But. Hey, he looks at the GoPro one. Oh, I thought we were just not. I thought you were meaning like look there, but don't. But how cool! Like like from the blue tape this way, yeah. Um, maybe further out. <laughs> Keep going that way. So yeah, anyway, um, two. I would do two twenty-five in the front. What are these? Thirty-five. Oh, fifty-five. 
I would do a 245 maybe. So you're gonna go thinner on the back? If he rolls it, he should be able to run that. You know what? James got a raging boner yesterday. I took the pan off this thing. He's like, you smell that? Oh my god. Is that recorded? I hope it is. No, it wasn't. Thank yeah, god. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, uh, make sure you give me that memory card so I can edit the video for you. No, I appreciate you, but no. Uh, gotta get into the uh, Dos Secos because I'm out of Coors. It's important that I keep hydrated. Doctor's orders. It does, when you when you get that's, into like the... That's the community. The community, the community pool. Yeah. I can pop the crank. And you know what's cool? Well, because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna KA the S13. This one has a really decent one. The S14s is really decent. What are you gonna do that one? The, the RB20. Oh man. from this car. This car. Right, Richard? We already swore in blood that you were gonna give me this motor when you do the RB25. Oh yeah. You need to get a step on that because I want I need video to, when I swap the RB25 in. You're like a doctor. Oh man. Anyway. I wish. Actually, I don't want to be a doctor. What is the game plan for the swap though? Like are you getting like a wiring specialties harness? Like are you doing the like the whole so like plug and play like kit or is something gonna be have to be fabricated? But I really I have no idea. Yeah, I haven't even thought about it yet. No. I don't want to do it. <sighs> you don't want to do it? I do. Oh. No, of course not. Like a what? 500 horsepower. Oh. Oh shit. I think Wayne was saying that he wanted to take the GS for the uh, harness. Or were you going to buy a harness? No. I guess whatever we do here, I'll take the GS and have them, have them finish it. Yeah, tune it and finish it. Yeah, because what I can do, like, we could pull everything. Like, are you keeping the transmission or are you buying an RB25 transmission? Probably an RB25 transmission. Oh, okay. And so we'll just do all the mechanical stuff. Like, swap it out, everything's yeah. in, ready to go, plumbed and all that. And then it just needs the wiring and the computer. Because I think when I go for that to the S13, I'm just going to buy the wiring specialty stuff. Like... You know, plug -and -play kind of thing? Yeah, because I think theirs was like 800 bucks or something like that. Oh, no, it's for like what? 600 dollars. 600? For what? Yeah. For the wiring specialty harness oh. for, well, no, for RB20 turkey. to S13. I like that, dude. I like that stance. What? The car? I've been doing it. Yeah? Okay, well, nice. Feels good. Yeah. Am I might have you do the wax. I use the wax. I'm going to have you do the gen, man. I'm going to have you do the hey, S13. Dude, come here. Come here and stroke this. Look, feel this, dude. Feel that. It's almost yeah. there. Stroke <laughs> this. <laughs> One day. One day you won't look like a turd. Oh, we gotta get the caliper. There's a caliper that's not connected. And it's just hanging by the brake line. I just, I'm like really motivated to get this thing painted. Like I'm gonna call Dominic at after hours to come and pull all the glass on the car. Mm -hmm. And me and Matt are gonna do, we're gonna pull oh. everything off of the car. Give it like a good sand prep, like get it ready, and then take it to get painted, and then he'll do the, you know, all the body work and you know all the final sanding. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's got a long way. Like, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some fiberglass work to these because they've got cracks in the bottom. All right, fag holes. Uh, I mean, the fag holes are watching Mighty Car Mods, and I am putting wrench to socket. Ugh. And this is the uh, replacement caliper for my shitty bent one. And this one does not also say Nissan like the other one does. So now we have a matching non-Nissan set. So whatever. I mean, I'm over it now. Like, I just want this thing to work. So, But I am going to rebuild those down there. So that's coming. I'll, I'll probably do a video because I actually ordered a legit kit. So the rebuild should go much more swimmingly so this is uh the, the install of hopefully the last caliper to grace this s13 all right so now i just get a this is all bolted down now i just need to stab the brakes back in and i got some uh, schmig where is my schmig there it is uh, Lube up the new one there, and then just press the bottom in. That's it.
That is done. We are ready to bleed. All right. Hey, who are? Yeah, come pump this brake pedal. Okay. For me. This steering wheel wasn't on here the other day. It wasn't? It was the, it was the, the wood grain. Oh, yeah. Pump it up. Oh yeah, that's good. We're good. All right. 